2020 exam 2 question 5 networks and decision making okay so they haven't given you the the um, network to do you've got to draw it yourself and you got to remember the important thing is you're not allowed to have this situation that is not allowed so you might have to insert a dummy and this is what they're talking about in this part a a dummy activity would have to be drawn what where is that dummy activity you have to go so you could have one come up like this one come down like this and then you can insert a dummy now that dummy could go actually either way but you've got to make sure it agrees with your diagram so here we go all right so we're starting here with our start and the two here with no immediate predecessor a and b so here's a comma two and here is b comma five so we have done uh, a and b nice one now c needs to be connected to a and b but f only needs to be connected to b so this is why you've got to look at which way your dummy goes so if you want c to be connected to a and b then you've got to make sure that the arrow contains a and b uh, is going uh, like like this so the dummy is going like that and then when C comes off here, uh, which has got a comma mystery value, because got you can see this missing uh, box here, uh, but B has got to come off here. Uh, sorry, it says F coming off here. So F is coming off here, and F is comma three. So we've done F and we've done C. Now the reason that you can't do that if you do the dummy. Uh, this way and you could have c coming off there your problem here is then that f would be directly connected into a all right took me a while to figure that out too don't worry um but there you go it can only go that way i oh, have yeah. you learn a lesson every day um now d and e both need to come off c so we can go d comma seven and e comma nine and then uh, g has to come off d so g comma four is that g comma four getting these numbers right g is done h has to come off f so that's h uh, comma nine and then I is all three of those connected together. So and then just we like that. Just do a nice right angle uh, saved. And then that's I comma two. So that's our lovely diagram for that. And the dummy between A and B, if you, if you flow backwards through F, you only go through B because you'll be going forwards through the dummy. So that means that F is only connected to B and if you go backwards from c you can go backwards that way or you can go backwards backwards like that way through a and b so you can see you are actually doing the diagram correctly quite a tricky one there so in answer to that question the dummy has to be from the end of oh i'm doing the wrong color here aren't i i'm doing yellow it's going to show up uh end of b going to the start of C so B to C and uh, let me just check how many people got that right only a quarter of people got that right people don't like their dummies All right so I've just redrawn my diagram of the network and now I need to add my boxes because it's I'm gonna have to work out with the ESTs and put those onto that diagram as well so I'm just gonna put some boxes on now remember at the start you've got two you've got A and B coming off there so you need Two boxes i'm going to do these in blue to contrast with the red and i can put my ests in there so that's the est for a because remember we're talking about the start of a zero for the start of b c has a start of five d has a start of seven e has a start of seven that makes sense because they're both starting from the same point um so it's gonna be the same number um f has a starting point of five uh h has a est of eight and you can see like five plus three equals eight there 
Um, uh, what else have we got here? So the starting point of G is T is 14. And we don't need to do all of this because to answer the question, I'm just putting them all in here because, you know, gets me the more view time and more money. Uh, not at all. Um, starting point for I is 18. And these starting, well, there's no starting point after that. I think we've done all the numbers, haven't we? Um, but then 18 plus 2, that will get you the 20 there. Okay, so what is the duration in months of activity C? So um, if you look at this diagram, you're going uh, from, along C. So you've gone from 5 to 7. So activity C must have a value do it in green use it your green pen as I say the only way to get five to seven you're gonna be adding two um, so we've got to do the, the pretty much the uh, full critical path analysis now to figure out where is the critical path um, I mean you could play around and just see which values work don't forget your dummy I mean I don't write it in there but the dummy has a value of zero now we're gonna go backwards from the start. Let's do this nice and slowly. So 20, 20 minus 2 is 18. This is our backward scan. So we're uh, subtracting for the minimum. 18 minus 4 is 14. Uh, and there's only one way back there. 14 minus 7 is 7. So obviously this is going to be the 7, but let's do it slowly. Uh, 18 minus 9 is 9. So the 7 and 9, we chose the minimum, which was 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. So that's obviously 5. Uh, 18 minus 9 is 9. Um, 9 minus 3 is uh, 6. But you can go backwards two ways into this. So you've got 5 minus 0 is 5. And then 9 uh, minus 3 is 6. So we choose the minimum, which is 5. And then 5 minus 5 is 0. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So if we grab our little Highlander pin here, uh, you can see we've got these ones uh, must be included on the critical path. So which way can you go? They'll include all these. So this, 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 this and this. That's the path that includes all of those and doesn't include any of the other activities. So name the four activities that don't have a float time. So it's the ones we haven't highlighted. So if you look at that, uh, so I'm going to put the answer to there. Um, the answers are A, um, F, H, and D. I don't think you have to put them in alphabetical order or anything like that. Um, what have I done there? Why have I said D? It shouldn't be saying D. Uh, it should be saying E. There it is, E. So A, F, H, E. They're the ones that are not highlighted on the yellow path. Okay, crashing, the one that er everyone hates and normally does badly on. And just to prove that, 12% uh, got this right. So when we're looking at the crashing here, we've got to compare paths. So uh, you can see there's actually only a float of two here, and that's because this path here is seven plus four, which is 11, and the E is nine. So 11 versus nine, you can see the length of the path is two. So if you're gonna crash uh, this 7 and 4, you could crash D by 2 or G by 2, but you're only going to reduce the whole thing by 2 um, before you start making E the critical path. Similarly, you've only got a, a float of 1, really, when you came back along this path, so you could only reduce them by 1, and that's because, uh, let's just eliminate that, I'm not talking about that anymore, um, you're comparing the 3 and 9, which is this uh, 12 here, um, but the other way to get there on the uh, critical path is all the way through here, which is the uh, 2 plus 7 plus 4, which is actually 13. So you're only comparing 13 with 12, uh, the critical path compared to the FH path, and that's why there's only a float of 1. So you could re 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 crash F by 1 or H. Uh, not crash F1. You can crash C or D or G by one before they become the same as F and H. All right, so one more time, just because I keep fluffing my lines. 
because you've got a 12 here, which is short. Remember, critical path is the longest path. Uh, if you reduce this 13 by 1 by either reducing g by 1, d by 1, or c by 1, you will get it to be equal to the same as f and h, which are both, will be 12. So you can only crash c, d, or g by 1, and you can only crash one activity, one activity only. So that's no good. That's only one. But there is a very simple bit here, and it's because of that dummy. Um, you do have a difference of three here and so if you're just comparing this bit which is not on the critical path to this bit which is on the critical path that that part is five because it's five plus zero and the a is two so you could crash far, uh, b by a massive amount of three so if you crash b by three uh, minus three you get two so then a and b would be equal so if a and b are equal then you've crashed it by three which means you reduce the whole thing by three so it's now it is 17 because uh, 20 minus 3 is 17 and that's the uh, correct answer so what is the minimum time now 17 because you could crash b by 3 keep repeating crashing questions until you get them right